Britain's counterterrorism police are racing to determine how this latest incident on their soil involving a chemical weapon of Russian design placed two people in the hospital, both in critical condition. Exposed to the nerve agent Novichok. The two victims in the small town of Amesbury haven't been publicly identified. But police say they're a man and woman in their mid-40s, native Britons, and often visited the nearby area of Salisbury, where the first Novichok incident, the attempted murder of former Russian spy Sergei Skripal and his daughter Yulia, took place. But that's the only connection revealed right now. I don't have any intelligence or evidence that they were targeted in any way. There is nothing in their background to suggest that at all. So the exposure may have been accidental. And as the British government believes Moscow was responsible for the Skripal incident, they're again demanding that Russia reveal details of how they would have carried it out in order to trace the path of the chemical. We spoke to Yulia Skripal after she was released from the hospital in May. She'd been in a coma for 20 days, and the long-term effects of the poison used on her still aren't known today. Now, the two Britons exposed are patients at that same small suburban hospital. And this time, hospital staff may have been better prepared. Russia has steadfastly denied playing a role in the release of Novichok in the UK, and they say they'd have no motive to poison Sergei Skripal, who was pardoned before he came to the West in a prisoner exchange eight years ago.